Okay, so my mom is an attorney, right? And she works in the corporate world and she makes a conscious effort to wear her hair natural. Although the way she does it, she always makes sure that it looks neat and tidy and proper for the workspace. So I remember um, a time where she wanted a mohawk and she was questioning herself and questioning her choices because she was wondering if she'd be taken seriously as a lawyer with a mohawk, you know. So um, I've seen her kind of self-censor self that way in, in the way that she would want to wear her hair where there's less freedom um, and she has to think twice about what she can do with her natural hair. So on her part it's definitely her and what she's internalized as opposed to maybe you knowing whether for a fact that at work she is told not to wear her hair in a particular way because you know it's not believable in a courtroom. Or yes, like no it's definitely about her. Interviews and trial I did felt like and then when you go, it's a thing that now I haven't cut my hair, I haven't cut my hair like in two weeks. But now you're going to for an interview, you have to do now, it. No, no, my, my industry allows me to have the kind of hair that I do, and I'm very grateful for that. So I've never experienced a problem with my hair, particularly in the interviews situation where someone has been like, oh, well, I mean, that at least that I know of, someone has been like, you're too funky, or your hairstyle is too, I don't know edgy or young or youthful for this kind of position i've just always been in environments where it was allowed so it wasn't really something that was shunned upon um so no i think my hair has always been been a plus actually to what i want to do in my industry if anything like it adds on to the kind of personality that i have and the way that some people receive me people always are like oh you're so edgy you dress so nice your hair's so cool so yeah that's the kind of space i'm in as a creative so i appreciate that about my I remember being told that i needed to dress a certain way and i needed to look a certain way and that my hair had to be uh, presentable mm. you know so i knew i couldn't go to an interview maybe with a funny color not funny color maybe with colored hair like green or blue so i kept my hair very standard it was black i tied it um if i had an afro i would normally just plait it so that it's still and i would i wouldn't just be um put it any any other way i wouldn't just walk into an interview maybe with this kind of afro i think when i was job hunting i did worry about the fact that i had a mohawk and about how that kind of hairstyle is perceived because in in instances people will be like oh that's a wild hairstyle kind of thing i mean also very recently i went to an embassy with my hair like this and i think what was what the guy sort of was making link to is how my hair sort of like you're going to this particular place you know you have a good heart but like your hair is kind of like makes you look like a prostitute kind of thing so i did i was like oh okay so there is there is a particular look that is expected and people wonder if i'm a student if i can actually do my hair like this so i do think that people do get discriminated about the kinds of hair that they put on and if it makes you look professional or unprofessional 